Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you today, Gabby? I'm very happy. <laughs> You're very happy. Okay, that was so great. Excellent. Nice to have you here. Thank you for being here. Let's see who else. Sulema, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? Fine. I am okay also. Thank you so much. Cool. Excellent. Nice to have you here. Nice to have you here. Okay. So, be ready for the class because, ah, we have more people right here. Adriana, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you today, Adriana? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I am happy to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's see, Andreina, hello. Hello, teacher. How, how are, are you? you? I'm okay. And you? Hi. Excellent. Great. Nice. Hi, Nancy. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Uh, good. Good. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Sandra, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Fine. And you? I am okay also. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Angel. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I am good. Excellent. Nice to have you here. Here we have also Carla Raquel. Hello, Carla Raquel. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> no, good afternoon. Aha, uh -huh. almost. Good evening. Good evening, perdón. Exactly. Yes, good evening. How are you today, Carla? Fine, teacher. Fine. Excellent. Nice to have you here. Let's see. We have right here... Crisia. Hello, Crisia. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? Well, I'm, I'm okay. Fine. And you? How are you? Fine. 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 Excellent. Nice to have you here. And here we have Lisandro, right? Hi, Lisandro. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Fine. And you? Fine. I am okay also. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, guys. Ya le voy a encender la cámara, que ahorita oh. no puedo. Okay, Lisandro, no problem. Thank you for telling me. Okay, guys, we are going to start with the class of today. ¿Qué estuvimos estudiando yesterday? ¿Alguien se recuerda? ¿Qué estuvimos estudiando el día de ayer? Nadie Possessive se... pronouns. Possessive pronouns, exactly. Possessive pronouns. Okay, so for now, we are going to have activities, some activities about possessive pronouns, okay? So now we are going to start with this part, okay? You have to choose between possessive pronoun and possessive adjectives, okay? ¿Alguien se recuerda cuál era la diferencia en ocupar possessive adjective y possessive pronoun? Oh, no. En la posición del objeto donde iba a estar. Exacto. Thank you so much, Andreina. Exacto. Igual. Great. Depende de la posición del objeto, right? That's depending on the object position. If we have the object at the beginning, we are going to use what? ¿Qué vamos a ocupar si el objeto está al inicio de la oración? Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronoun. Y si tenemos el objeto al final de la oración. Possessive object. Awesome, Andreina. Great. Thank you so much. So now, let's start with number one. Letter B. No. It's, okay. We're going to start since letter A, a okay? Is this Jennifer's hat? No. It's not hers. It's my or mine? Mine. 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 Exactly. This one. It's mine. Excellent. Now let's see the other one. Are these your or yours gloves? Your. 
Your, exactly. ¿Por qué, Adriana? ¿Por qué ocupamos your y no yours? Según por lo que he escuchado, porque el objeto está al final de la oración. Exacto. Así como lo dijo. Porque el objeto está al final de la oración. Por eso ocupamos your. La otra. No, they are not my or mine gloves. My. Exactly. Why, Angel? Tell me why. Porque el objeto está al final de la oración. Excellent. Good answer. That was great. Let's continue. Let's ask Sally. Maybe their hair or hers. Mm -hmm. Which one? Hers. Hair. Si no me equivoco. Hair. Hair. Because it's plural. Ok. Hers. Mm -hmm. Recordemos que aquí, para ocupar los adjetivos posesivos o los pronombres posesivos, no importa ahorita si es plural o singular. Lo que importa ahorita es el objeto, la posición del objeto. Ok. Entonces, ahorita ya identificamos el objeto que sería gloves. Y vemos que está al final de la oración. Y cuando tenemos el objeto al final de la oración, ¿qué deberíamos de ocupar? Possessive adjective o possessive pronouns. Possessive adjective. adjective. Exactly. Entonces, sería her o her. hers. Her. 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 Exactly. Por eso ocupamos her. The other one. Let's see, whose or yours? Mm -hmm. Whose? Whose, exactly. Esto no se los he explicado, pero good. Whose. ¿Qué significa whose? Ajá. ¿De quién? De quién, exactly. ¿De quién? ¿De quién son estas camisetas, ¿ok? Whose significa de quién. Exactly, good angel. Excellent. Whose. Then we have, are they Julie's and Pat's? And then we have, no, they are not. Their or theirs, teachers. Their. Their. Their, exactly. ¿Por qué, Sandra? ¿Por qué ocupamos there? Porque el objeto está al final de la oración. T-shirt. Excellent. Good answer. This is the object. Good. Then we have, but these socks are there or theirs. Mm -hmm. Theirs. Theirs, exactly. ¿Por qué, Ángel? Porque el objeto está al inicio. ¿Y cuál es el objeto en la oración? Socks. Excellent. That was amazing. Yes. Socks. Good. The other one. And these shorts are your or yours? Yours. 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 Exactly. That is the correct answer. Let's continue. Hey, these are not or Or it could be ours clothes. Uh huh. Ours. Okay. Sorry. Or. Or mm -hmm. exactly. Or clothes. Por qué? Se dan cuenta el objeto aquí es clothes y está al final. Por eso ocupamos el possessive adjective. Good. And the last one that we have. You're right. Or. Or it could be ours are over there. Mm -hmm. A tricky one. Or. Or. This one? No duda. Ajá, exactly. Recordemos una cosa. Los possessive pronouns también los ocupamos para evitar repetición. Ok. Entonces yo les puedo preguntar, is this your car? Y ustedes me pueden contestar, this is my car, pero si queremos evitar la repetición, 
ustedes me pueden decir, this is mine. Y evitamos decir, my car. ¿Ok? Entonces aquí, ocupamos... Ours. Ours, exactly. Ours. Porque ya sabemos que estamos hablando de ropa. Así evitamos decir, our clothes are over there. Ok. Excellent. Until here, guys, do you have any question about it? No questions? No. Okay, so we are going to continue practicing this to make sure you understand. Let me see. This one. Okay, and number one. Number one, it's going to be for Lady Vanessa, please. See? Yes, yes. number one. Is that your notebook? Is that your notebook or? Is that your notebook or, or mine? Or mine, exactly. Excellent. Or mine. Number two is going to be for, um, let me see, for Crisia, please. I don't like theirs apartment. This one? Theirs. Their, exactly. I don't like their apartment. Excellent, Chrissy. The other one, that's not my problem. It is? This one is going to be for Lisandro, okay? Go ahead, Lisandro. Ahorita, teacher. Okay. Uh, that's not... That's not my problem. It's, it's yours. Excellent. It's yours. En este caso, ocupamos your para evitar la repetición de palabras, ¿ok? Para no decir it is your problem, porque ya sabemos que estamos hablando de problem. Exactly. Thank you so much, Lisandro. Number four, your car is green. While... This one, it's going to be for Nancy, please. Your car is green. What? Will? Okay. <laughs> one more time. Your car is green. While? Your car is green. With... Ah, yes, so <laughs> While? While. While. Ah, while. <laughs> Eh, sería my is my is black ajá uh -huh. my is black uh, what do you ajá uh -huh. yes thank you so much me... thank you so much Nancy what do you think about it Tarlet uh -huh. qué piensa de eso Tarlet is that okay or not no no okay it's mine it's mine Why? ¿Por qué? Porque el objeto está antes. ¿Y cuál es el objeto de la oración? Car. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Exacto. El objeto You're sería welcome. car. Excellent. Number five. Isn't? Teacher, disculpe. Why? ¿Qué significa? Disculpe. While. Uh -huh. Mientras. Ah, ok. Gracias. Significa de nada. Tu carro es azul, mientras el mío es negro. Mientras que el mío es negro. Ok. Number five. Isn't. Let me see who, who can help me with this one. Let me see. I have right here Jenny. Jenny, please. Number five is for you. For you. Hello. Hello. Um, is theirs? Theirs? Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think about it, uh, Raquel Abigail? Is that okay for you or not? Is there? Is there? Por qué? Porque el objeto va después. ¿Cuál es el objeto de la oración? Es, eh, 
older, older. Ajá, it could be older, but in this case estamos hablando del hijo, ¿ok? Sería son, hijo, su okay. hijo, ¿ok? But yes, you are totally right, porque el objeto va después. En este caso sería son, hijo, ¿ok? Great, thank you so much, Jenny and Raquel. Let's see the other one. I have five more. Number six. Number six is going to be for Gabby, please. A friends of or cold. Cold. Okay. Or a friend of or. Mm -hmm. Why? Por qué, Gabby? Um, porque el sujeto va al inicio. Ajá, y cuando el sujeto va al inicio, ¿qué ocupamos? Possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Pronouns. Ajá, entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta, Gaby? Ors. Exactly, ors. Porque tenemos el objeto al inicio. A friend of yours. Exactly. Good. Let's see the other one. Sulema, can you help me with number seven, please? Uh, sería her. Her? Her. Ajá. Uh -huh. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de... Porque va al inicio, le estamos hablando del hermano. Exactly. You are totally right. <coughs> In este caso estamos hablando del hermano. Exactly. Her brother. Una amiga de su, de ella, hermano. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sulema. Number eight. Number eight. It's going to be for, let me see someone who doesn't have the camera. Um, Rosa Elba, please. Mm, sería or he's our doctor excellent good ¿por qué Rosa Elba? ¿por qué elegimos or? porque está hablando del de, del doctor exactly that was great thank you so much let's see number nine let me see I think Rosa Elba is here Yes, Rosalba. Rosalba, sorry. Ah. Rosalba. Oh, aquí estoy. I'm here. Ajá. Dice. Sería that or house, exactly. not theirs. Perfect. That was great. Or house. Porque tenemos el objeto right here, después. That is the reason why. And the last one. Do I have a volunteer? Tengo un voluntario? Or do I have to choose? I have to choose. Great. So, Karen Selina, can you tell me, please? No, Karen Selina. Okay. Um, let me see Adriana Lisette. Please. Um, yes, ten. Is he a friend of um Sevilla? Yours. Exactly. Is he a friend of of yours? Of Excellent. Yours. Thank you so much. That was great. Ok, guys. Entonces, esas fueron las prácticas que traía para el día de ahora. ¿Creen que todavía tenemos issues, problemas al entender? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, en el ejemplo 6 y 7. 6 y 7. Sí, me queda la duda. duda. Ok. Claro que sí. Ahorita se le explico. En este caso, a friend sería el objeto. Ok. A friend sería el objeto y por eso es que ocupamos ors. Pero usted se pregunta si la otra es igual, right? 
tiene a friend al inicio y no estamos ocupando hers. ¿Por qué? Porque en este caso tenemos brother después. En este caso está el objeto, el que posee el propietario sería brother, share brother, el hermano de ella. ¿Ok? Esa sería la razón por qué ocupamos her y no hers. En este caso, si se da cuenta aquí, en el número 6, no tenemos ni brother, ni sister, ni mother, ni nada, right? Entonces, ese el, objeto es el hermano, el, el ah, amigo. El hermano. Brother es hermano. Sí, pero en el 6, entonces el sujeto es amigo. Amigo. El amigo. Ese sería el objeto. Ajá. A friend of ours called. Un amigo de nosotros llamó. Ok. Y un, aquí, un amigo de su hermano, ok, del hermano de ella, llamó. Ok. ¿Is that clear? Yes. Ok. Thank you, Lisandro. Good observation. Any other question, guys? Que no esté claro algo? No. Ok. Entonces, we are going to continue. Look at the topic that I have for today. The seasons. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa the seasons? Estaciones, temporadas. Exacto. Good job. Estaciones o temporadas. So now, I'm going to play a video talking about the seasons. Okay? Pay attention. And later, we are going to have a talk about it. Ya lo partieron. Ya me voy a... Ok, guys. So here you have the four seasons of the year. Las cuatro estaciones del año. Ok. In El Salvador, we don't have four seasons. We have only two. Okay, but let's begin with number one. The first one is it's a spring. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa it's a spring? Primavera. Primavera. Primavera, exactly. And it says, aquí tenemos una descripción de la season. Sería it's warm, it's very sunny. ¿Qué significa warm? Caliente. Ajá, uh -huh. it could be caliente, but in this case, caliente could be hot. En cambio, warm es un poco abajo de hot. Cal cálido. Exacto, cálido. Alejandro, cálido. It's warm and it's very sunny. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa sunny? Soleado. Soleado, Soleado. Mm -hmm. exactly. Entonces, esa es la descripción que tenemos para primavera, para spring. Es cálido y está muy soleado. Okay, let's see the other one. It's summer in Korea. ¿Qué significa summer? Verano. Verano, Verano. exactly. And then we have, it's raining, it's hot and humid. It's raining. ¿Qué significa it's raining? Lloviendo. Raining, está lloviendo. lloviendo. Está lloviendo, exactly. And then, hot and humid. ¿Qué significa está hot? Caliente, caliente y húmedo. Y húmedo. Exactly, caliente y húmedo. Entonces, when it is summer, you know that it is raining, it's hot and humid. The other season, fall. ¿Qué significa fall? Otoño. Otoño, exactly. And we have it is cool. It is cool. And let me see the, the other thing because I cannot see it. It's cold. Now, let... hold on. Wait a second. It's going to be, it's cold, it's cloudy, and windy. I will send it in the chat so that you can have it. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa it's cool? Frío. Está helado. Ah, la mayoría siempre me dice lo mismo. 
Look at the pronunciation. Cool. 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 Eso significa está genial. It's cool. En cambio, si yo quiero decir está helado, yo digo it's cold. Cool. Ok, ahí está la diferencia en pronunciación. Cool. Uno es cool y el otro cold. Ok, esa es la diferencia. Entonces decimos it's cool, okay. it's cloudy and windy. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa cloudy and windy? Nublado. 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 Cloudy significa nublado. ¿Y windy? Con viento. Con viento, exactly. Nublado y con viento. Let's see the other one. Teacher, denos el diploma ya. <laughs> Yo ya se los hubiera dado, pero no depende de él. <laughs> okay, the other one we have. Winter. Aquí invierno. Invierno, exactly. And then we have. It's snowing. It's very cold. ¿Qué significa eso? Nevando, nevando y muy frío. Exacto. ¿Se dan cuenta la diferencia en la pronunciación? It's cool. It's cold. Ok. Ahí está la diferencia. Excellent. That was so good. And then we have a video. A video. A conversation. It's dialogue. Ok. Entonces yo ahorita quiero que pay attention. I will read it once because later you are going to read it, ¿ok? Quiero que esta vez me dramaticen si dicen, oh, no, quiero que ustedes de verdad lo sientan, ¿ok? Oh, no, excellent, like Christian, right? Excellent. Let's start. Oh, no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm, and I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, that was the pronunciation. Okay, now questions about pronunciation, guys? No, everything is clear as water, right, for you? Okay, no questions about pronunciation. ¿Tienen alguna nueva palabra aquí, chicos? Matter. Matter, exactly. Matter. En este contexto, what's the matter significa cuál es el problema. Es lo mismo que decir what is the problem. Okay? Si yo digo what's the matter, significa what's the problem. Okay? Look at the pronunciation, matter, matter, okay. Excellent. No more questions about it? It's snowing, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. let me see, where is it? Here. Snowing, the way you say it, la manera en la que Snowing, snowing, snowing. Okay. Snowing. Snowing. Excellent. ¿Qué otra? Only that? Yes. Okay. So let's start. Let's see if I have volunteers. If not, that's my favorite part when I choose the volunteers. No volunteers. Vaya, Alejandro, empieza tú. Diga usted, teacher, si no yo le elijo dos. No, okay, Lisandro and Crisia. Thank you so much. No, I'm good. Julie, I'm going to Back. <laughs> the two of you. Thank you. You can start. Bye. Comienzo. Pat. Yes. Oh, no. Así no, Lisandro. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, please, Crisia. What's the matter? It's snowing. And it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coats? But my coat is warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. 
Excellent. That was great. Congratulations for the two of you. <laughs> Excellent. It's good pronunciation. I like it a lot. Good. Let's see the other one. The other two people are going to be Nancy and Jenny. Please go ahead. Oh, no. Uh, what the uh, Marit is knowing in this pool. Are you wearing your glove? No, they are in my home. Were you wearing your coat? coat? But, but my coat is warm. In 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 no wearing boots. Okay, let's uh, say a uh, taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, thank you so much, the two of you. Okay, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Now let's see one thing. Some things that we have to improve. Look at it. We say it matter, 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 matter. Exactly. Mare. Then we have gloves. 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 Okay. Are gloves. you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? Exactly. Then we have um wearing your coat. Wearing, wearing your coat. Your coat, exactly. Isn't coat. isn't warm. Isn't warm. warm. Warm, exactly. Wearing boots. Wearing, wearing boots. boots. Exactly. That was great. Thank you so much, the two of you. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then we have our lead. And we are going to have Gabby, please. Oh, no. What's the matter? It is snowing and it is very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they aren't at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm. And I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you, Julie. Awesome. Thank you so much for the two of you. Great. Good pronunciation. Let me see who else. Then we are going to have Raquel Abigail and Adriana, please. Go ahead. Jan You, if you want, please. Okay. Oh, no. What the mother? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are home. Where you? Wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thank you so much, the two of you. That was great. Also, thank you, thank you a lot. Then we are going to have Carla Raquel, and we are going to have Andreina. Okay, go ahead, please. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Judy. Great, awesome, good pronunciation and good intonation. I like it a lot. Thank you, the two of you. And the last ones, do I have a volunteer? I will ask the last time. If not, we can move on. No volunteer. Okay, there's no problem about it. Teacher, Rosalba y Rosalba. 
no han hablado. Lady, lady wants to participate, right? Ah, también, lady, no ha participado. <laughs> lady. <laughs> okay. Lady, choose your partner, please. Escojan a su pareja. Yo le escojo. Yes, you choose. Okay. Pero no sé si ya participó. <laughs> Dígame el nombre y yo le digo. Um, Zulema. Zulema ya participó. Oh. oh, pero le puedo ayudar. Ah, ok. Ok, go ahead, please. <ríe> Comience ella. <ríe> ok. Oh, no. What's the mayor? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a, te a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, lady. And thank you also, Sulema, for doing two times. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then we don't have Angel, Rosa Elba, and Rosalba. And also Karen, Selena. So sorry. So we are going to have Karen and Rosalba. And then Angel and Rosa Elba. Okay? So go ahead, Karen and Rosalba, please. Okay, who's first? You, if you want, please. Okay, oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm. And I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Great. Good pronunciation and good intonation. I like it. Thank you so much. And at the end, we have Angel and Rosa Elba. Thank you so much. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat? But my coat is in work and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Great. Thank you so much, the two of you. That was so great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we are ready to continue with another thing that I have right here. And we are going to start, look at it, present continuous. This is something new for you, or you already know about present continuous, guys? Uh -huh. Presente continuo. ¿Alguien sabe algo al respecto? ¿O es nuevo para ustedes? I already ING. know it about. Okay, ING said angel. And Karen? My... Yes, me too. The same, okay. What about you, Rosalba? Eh, cuando al verbo le agregamos el ING. Exactly. That is the thing. When we have ING to the verbs. Now I'm going to play a video, pay attention, and later I will explain some little details about present continuous, okay? un poquito no se escucha okay, grano, grande. Grande. okay thank you so much for telling me thank you thank you in progress in this particular moment what about now yes yes thank you guys let's start hi everyone in this class you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining.
you're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like. Okay, so that was the video about. We are studying, as I said before, present continuous, right? So look at it. Basically, the guy of the video gave us, well, gave us this like little formula, right? The subject, the verb be. And remember, guys, I want you to be clear on this. The verb be is something essential. And this is. Tense in present continuous, the verb be is essential. If you don't include the verb be, the sentence will be totally incorrect. Okay, so the verb be is a must right here. Then we have the verb plus ing, and for sure, the complement that we have in the sentence. If you want the sentence negative, basically, you add the particle not, then um, the particle not before, after, sorry, after the verb be, okay? You have the particle not after the verb be, or not, for example. Look at it, right here we have two examples. You are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. And remember that you also have contractions, right? So you can use aren't, isn't, aren't, aren't and isn't okay just to be clear on this it could be also they aren't wearing shoes but something one more time i will say it the verb be is essential you cannot say you wearing shoes no okay it doesn't exist eso no existe siempre tiene que ir el verb be always 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 you cannot forget it no se pueden olvidar del verb be and look at it. At the end, we have this little part, conjunctions, right? Conjunctions. We have only two. We have the first one, N. We use it to add information, to add extra information. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. Okay. 
extra information. And the other one, but, we use it for opposites. Opposites, or we can use it also for contrasting information, okay? Contrasting information. In this case, I'm wearing a coat, but I am not wearing boots. Another example, I am listening to the class, but I am not paying attention. For example, estoy escuchando la clase, pero no estoy poniendo atención. Okay? You see? Opposites. Okay? Or you contrast information. Okay, now that we are clear, let me see. Before continuing with this, do you have any question about present continuous, guys? Clear. All clear about it. Teacher. Yes, tell Just me. Just make sure if for questions is the same verbs ing, correct? Yes. Yes. But right now we are only in statements, in sentences, positive and negative, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. For tomorrow, we are going to start with questions. But for now, only sentences, positive and negative. Okay? So don't run. Don't run right now. So no questions about it. Okay, if there are no more questions, I will start explaining grammar rules. The first one. Spelling exceptions for verbs. Okay? Sometimes we need to remove a letter and other times we need to add another letter. Here are some exceptions. The first one, it says in Spanish, a veces necesitamos remover una letra y otras veces necesitamos agregar una letra. Okay, aquí están algunas excepciones. La primera, one e at the end of the verb. Cuando el verbo termina con e, ¿qué hacemos? Le removemos, le quitamos la e de al final y simplemente le agregamos ing. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo de eso. El verbo live. I will type it in the chat. Live. Termina con e. Entonces, esa e la quitamos y simplemente le agregamos ing. Quedaría living. Otro verbo, save. Guardar o ahorrar. El verbo termina en e. Esa e la eliminamos y simplemente agregamos ing. Saving, it will be. Look at the examples are, I have right here. I'm living in Germany. I'm saving money for a new car, for example. But it will be different if the verb ends with double e. Cuando el verbo termina con dos e, Entonces va a ser diferente. Ya no le quitamos nada y simplemente agregamos ing. Un ejemplo de ese verbo podría ser sí. El verbo ver. En este caso lo queremos hacer en ing. Simplemente le agregamos ing. Sin. Ok. Sin. For example, he's or his seeing his friends. For example, okay. So look at it one more time. Si solo tiene una e, la eliminamos y automáticamente agregamos ing. Pero si tiene dos e, no eliminamos nada y agregamos ing. Okay. There you go with it. Another rule for this. Rule number two. Verbs. The verb ends with consonant. Vowel, uy, consonant. In this case, cuando el verbo termina con consonante, vocal, consonante. ¿Qué pasa en este caso? Duplicamos la consonante de al final. Un ejemplo de esto podría ser stop. ¿Se dan cuenta? Termina con consonante, vocal, consonante. 
Entonces, duplicamos la última consonante, que sería la P, y diríamos, I'm stopping the car. I'm stopping the car. ¿Se dan cuenta aquí? Tenemos una P extra, porque cumple con esta regla. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Después, tenemos otro ejemplo con el verbo nadar, swim. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Entonces sería swimming, con doble M. Swimming. We're swimming in the sea, for example. We're swimming in the sea. Okay, we double the last consonant. Another rule that we have for this and the last ones. The verb ends in I-E. Cuando el verbo termina con I-E. <coughs> Perdón. Hacemos, lo que hacemos es lo siguiente. Cambiamos ese I-E por una Y. Y le agregamos ing. Un ejemplo de ese verbo, lie, mentir. Lie, mentir. Entonces, le cambiamos la i y la e por una y y agregamos ing. Entonces sería lying. She's lying to the teacher. Le está mintiendo al profesor. Okay, another and the last one that we have right here. Cuando los verbos terminan con IC. Cuando el verbo termina con IC, le agregamos una K antes del ING. Un ejemplo de ese verbo sería panic. Quedaría entonces panicking. Le agregamos la K antes del ING. Ok, hasta el momento esas reglas vamos a estudiar. Ok, so be careful with this. Right now, ¿qué van a hacer ahorita? Les voy a enviar ahorita una lista de 100 verbos. No se van a aprender los 100 de un solo, pero quiero que la revisen y la estudien, porque necesitamos aprendernos verbos para crear oraciones. Ok, entonces ahí en el grupo les acabo de mandar 100 verbos más usados en el idioma. ¿Ok? Quiero que la repasen poquito a poco y la estudien. Ahorita, teacher. ¿hay preguntas al respecto? Sí, teacher. Un, una sugerencia. ¿Será posible Dígame. que estas, estas cinco excepciones no las envíe al grupo de WhatsApp? ¿Las excepciones? Estas cinco excepciones que usted okay. ha puesto. Ok. Yes. Sí, se la voy a mandar como imagen al grupo cuando terminemos la clase. Ok, good. Excellent, Lisandro. Any Pasa. other sugerencia o duda al respecto? No. Todos los verbos, teacher, por ley, tienen que llevar ING o este... En, o en otros casos es... Solo es I, E, ¿entendí? No. ¿O que se le quita? En todos los casos, siempre, siempre va a llevar ING. En el presente continuo. Present continuous, siempre va a llevar ING. ¿Ok? Así okay. como lying, panicking, for example. ¿Ok? Entonces, ahorita... Ah, solo en el presente continuo. Ahorita sí. Ahorita solo el presente continuo hemos estudiado. Entonces, sí. Solo presente sí. continuo. ¿Ok? Y recuerden que siempre, ya saben, tiene que ir el verb be. He is lying. He is panicking. Si no llevamos el verb be y decimos solo, por ejemplo, he panicking, uh -uh, está completamente mal esa oración. ¿Ok? Gramaticalmente no está bien. ¿Ok, chicos? Si no... Hay más dudas o preguntas, entonces vamos a hacer una actividad. Quiero que me creen ahorita dos oraciones. In simple sí, press. Perdón, perdón. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, tell me. Este, 
es que hay cosas que uno las entiende fácil, pero ya a la hora de hacer oraciones o querer expresar uno en inglés una oración, ahí es donde a uno le cuesta, va. Pero vaya, entonces quiere decir que si yo digo, por ejemplo, I am play soccer, un ejemplo, va. Uh -huh. Cuando yo digo play es que yo juego, que yo, pero si yo digo playing es que yo lo estoy haciendo en ese momento. Exactly. Sí, sí. Yes. Ocupamos okay. present continuous para describir acciones o cosas que están pasando yes, right now. Okay, exactly. Okay. Gracias. Teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Estoy jugando. I am teaching. Estoy enseñando. Okay. You are studying. Están estudiando. Okay. Entonces, quiero que me creen, porfa, dos oraciones y me las manden. O me las dicen, bueno, mejor prefiero que me las manden porque quiero ver cómo las escriben. O me las mandan aquí en el chat de Zoom o por WhatsApp, por favor. Please. I will be waiting. Voy a estar esperando por sus respuestas. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. I have right here, Angel. Let me see. I am playing the guitar. I'm watching the class. Okay. You're playing basketball. I'm talking with my best friend. Okay, that was so good. Great. We have right here. I'm playing with my five dogs. I'm spending time with my mom. Okay. Hasta por el momento me han mandado oraciones. Y quiero que quede algo clarito. En las oraciones necesito que, por favor, al final me le pongan punto. Si no me le ponen punto a las oraciones, entonces no van a estar bien, ¿ok? Mayúscula al inicio y punto al final, porfa. Great. Thank you so much. I'm working. Teacher, yes. Eh, una pregunta, por ejemplo, cuando son verbos como turn off o turn off o way up, el ing se le aplica al, a la última palabra, digamos. No, no, se le aplica a la primera, porque el verbo sería turn. Turn. Ajá, entonces sería I am turning. Off or on or on. Turning off or turning on. Okay. Okay. Great. Excellent. Thank you so much, Karen Selina. Let me see who else is here. I am eating right now. I am studying English. Good. I am working. They are working. Excellent. She's studying English. I am eating pupusas. <laughs> great, Carito. Great. Okay. Awesome. That was great. One thing about this one, about I am he she is studying English. En inglés, esos como los idiomas y los países también los ocupamos con mayúsculas. Okay, entonces sería I am. Studying, for example, studying English. And we have English with capital letter, okay? Con mayúscula. Studying. Studying English, exactly, in that way. I am reading short, shorts. I'm reading right now. Let's see, I'm learning English, exactly. He is playing on the beach. I'm having dinner. I'm talking. Okay, chicos, si ya me mandaron sus oraciones, you can leave, okay? Thank you so much. You can leave. She's cooking the dinner. She's wearing high heels. 
My sister is washing her cell phone. I'm working right now. I'm eating right now. I'm sleeping right now. I'm here in the class. I'm teaching. You are dancing. Exactly. Good, good, good. All the sentences you are sending me are so good. Okay? So, guys, I think that that will be all for today. Porfa, estudien este tema y repasen. Porque el día de mañana vamos a tener práctica oral. Ok, yo le voy a hacer preguntas y ustedes me las contestan con presente continuo. Ok, práctica oral para el día de mañana. Ok, so study a lot. Ok, so that will be all. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 Bye.